guys. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hop right in. Hey, Nikki. So I'm going to this party in a couple weeks, and it's going to be insanely huge, except I only know a few of the people actually going. I don't want to, I really want to meet, I don't want to, I really want to meet a ton of new people, but I don't know how to, well, meet them. Most of my friends loosen up by drinking, but I'm probably going to be driving, so I can't do that. How can I introduce myself to them without being awkward or anything like that? Okay, so this is actually a great life lesson for you because too many people rely on alcohol to be socially like interactive and how to like to take down awkward walls to just meet people which you know I guess every once in a while at a party like having a drink or two to relax and talk with your friends that's fine but to rely on it to be like too many people rely on that to be like oh I'm really uncomfortable I'm gonna drink so I can get over this that's really not good because you think about it like in life what about in job interviews or even like um, work lunches, work meetings, whatever, you want to get to know someone and become friendly and acquaintances with them and not have to rely on alcohol because ultimately, even if you are, like, let's say at a work party growing up, um, maybe you don't want to drink with them because maybe you get a little sloppy when you drink or the way you are socially with that awkward wall down is still not going to be the way you are socially when you're not drinking. So it's a good thing to overcome. Now, that being said, I know you guys all get sick of the same <laughs> answer over and over but these are kind of just life truths um you know if there are things going on at the party walk over and get involved like if they need help like putting out things like food or ice or whatever go help um if people are like hanging out go to a group where maybe you know one person come in like smile kind of join in the conversation and say you know like make it not awkward make it really light and fun like I you know I don't know you guys I haven't met you I'm Nicole um and that's what I do I'll often walk into groups I'll be friendly smiling with people making eye contact and then after like a minute two, three minutes once it's real it's like okay we're hanging out I'll say I just realized I didn't even meet you I'm Nicole hi it's nice to meet you and I'll shake their hand and be like oh hi I don't know Bob <laughs> I made that up um yeah so you just the best way to avoid awkwardness is to add kind of a light air to it like you know it changes saying the same thing like hey I don't I haven't met you I'm Nicole can totally change by just the, the tone the tonation if that's a word in your voice by changing it to like I haven't met you I'm Nicole hi Nice to meet you. Like, all of a sudden, it's awkward. Make it really light, airy, fun, smile, look at them. Hi, I don't know you. Um, I'm Nicole. It's really nice to meet you. You know, smile. People love smiles. Look them in the eye. It makes, when you smile at someone and you look them in the eye, you make them feel recognized that they're there, important. Um, you're making them feel like you're happy to see them. And people often don't get that feeling enough from other people. So you're automatically going to be more well liked by the majority of people that you come across if you're smiling and looking them in the eye. So that is my advice to you. Good luck. Have fun. Um, take this as like a learning opportunity. That's life. Learning, growing. I think the FedEx person is at my front door. Oh no. Bye. Anyways. Okay. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. I don't know for what reason they started clinging on to me. So I kind of made things a little easier. Also running on the tracking. You can't run a mile. You're going to get in really good shape. That's what I was going to say. I thought you were going to discourage her from trying to no. track.